Hello! Hi! <laughs> Hi, this is Debbie and Vic. Yep, yep, yep. Welcome that's to our us. channel. Um, and this today we will be uh, looking at a movie that we just um, watch. We want to draw some marriage and relationship lessons from there. Yep. That is a movie by uh, Daddy Victor Lukoju, you know, yeah. Pastor Victor Lukoju. And the, the title is Shouts um, of a Whisper. And the first episode is Marry Me. Yeah. Quite a very short episode. Yeah, very but, short. Um, uh, a lot of lessons to be learned. From yeah. There. Mm -hmm. One thing about I like about the movie is just it's very short. And then I like the fact that the daddy is so open to his daughter, you mm -hmm. know, that she can like talk to him. Yeah. Like daddy, I have a boyfriend, and um, he was even though he had reservations about, about the, the boyfriend, guy, yeah. he was still open to like meeting. Ah, because mm. compared to you know our normal um, fathers now, they will always have. Oh, how can you have a boyfriend that's your age? Who is the guy? You know mm. those kind of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, also for me, I, I would say that um, the storyline is also good. Um, I think sometimes we have movies with very good cinematography, but when it comes to storyline, the storyline mm. is shaking. Yeah. Uh, we see how the movie proceeds. Hopefully, when other episodes are coming, we'll be having very powerful storylines. Yeah. Story. I would say for um, for the episode one on Marry Me, the storyline seems very interesting. Yeah. It seems very practical. Yeah. It seems... Um, Filled with lessons. Yeah, and very relative to even this uh, our own current uh, reality. Uh, reality and generation. So, uh, there are a few lessons that we we looked at that we want to um, um, draw out a little bit. For me, I, I think the first thing will be around the whole thing around proposal. Oh. You know, because the, the girl came and the lady was, and she was like, oh, I have a guy and he wants to propose and I want him to come and meet you. And the father was confused, you know, has he proposed, has he asked you? I said, no, we have been going out. You know, what are you going out to do? You are going out, what? So going out needs to be defined. You know, yeah. why are you going out, you know? And that's why he's saying that these days things are changing. People are, people don't know, just, uh, people no longer propose and then you pray about it and see God's face and then but there is this misconception about proposals now where after the guy asks you how to finish that is stage one then for some people that is not really proposal yet until you come and put the ring down yeah. and then you propose so I, I think there is a little bit uh, stop that <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I get your point mm -hmm. you know but you know a guy that proposed to you will expressly say um, I would like to get married to you. Mm. Some people, when they're asking you out, they will say, let's see how it's going. Mm. Let's just be going in, yeah. going out, and let's see how it goes, you know? But some people would, like, as they're asking you out, they're already saying, um, I see a future in you, mm. I want you to be my wife. Just so, like the way I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did not propose to me, oh. it did not propose to me, it did not get down one new. But, you know, right from when he was asking me out, I was already saying, I want us to to um get married but now especially for young people mm. you just you don't even know where the relationship is going you just it's like entering a bus and you don't even know where the bus is going to drop, drop you so so one thing we will say from that is that when going into a relationship let it be purposeful yeah. meaning that have um a reason what what are you guys into you know what are you doing where yeah. are you heading yeah. don't just assume because there is a little bit of assumption there as we look at at the end of the episode she was thinking marriage the guy wasn't thinking marriage or something the you guy know? was married the guy, already so the guy was married already with, with, with even a child but know? the guy is very bold like you you are asking a girl out and the girl said you should come and meet her father mm. and you had you had the a child you are married and you still have the audacity to come with her father so you now come back two days after be one month after and say hey boy i never proposed to you and what were you doing when you were going to meet my father and he's not serious he's that i'm serious about you i'm ready to settle down with you all those signs you just like showing um signs but not actually saying it out mm -hmm. i think yeah, so, and also, uh, one of the things I also, I can also pick up, pick um, from that also is that a child of God can't just marry anyone. Mm. You can't just marry anyone because he's a Christian. Every Christian is not meant for you. Mm. All right, so that's something that uh, her dad, the dad of uh, Inu, which is the girl, and the guy is David, you know, and uh, the father has to tell her, you know, so you can't just marry anyone and say, oh, he's a Christian. He is not even a Christian at first. We'll still go into that. Yeah. So we'll say that, please, when making your choice, you need to ensure also that this person is a Christian. 
Christian not just as a church goer, but somebody that has given his life to Christ. And yeah. you can testify the the or the spirit, fruit of yeah. the Spirit. You can testify that this person has encountered Jesus. Not by then just praying in tongues or by going to church, scabashing every day. No. <laughs> but okay. yeah, but you need to ensure that the Practically in their way of life, in their way yeah, of dressing, yeah. their way of living. Yeah, you know, you, you talk about. Yeah, he yeah. talked about his mm -hmm. appearance. Like, ah, why is he living? Why is he living in Ijebu? I believe was born. So <laughs> and, 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 and babe, that is another thing also that we all need to be aware of, guys. Another <laughs> lesson we need to pick up from there is that social media is becoming so powerful. Mm. Your social media account is like your website where people are coming. It's like your address online. Yeah. So when people are looking for you, they go to your social media to look for you. Yeah. Before people meet you in real life, most times they won't meet you on your social media. Yeah. To shock you, even me myself, before I met my wife in real life, say first, physically, I met her first Let's on social media. media. Do that. So, and I had to go through her post, the things she was writing, how she was positioning herself, the kind of pictures she used to um, she used to put out believe me even if my wife was to be a very godly person and she's a very amazing person but she's sharing nonsense posts and commenting on nonsense things it will kill whatever i was trying to build up for her all right so i think that's another thing yeah. the guy just went on facebook to so check, him, check out. him out yeah, and he yeah. saw the things from from what he was posting and from what he was doing the father knew that yeah this, he already this, had an this, opinion yeah, this, about this it, that it i don't think it's this guy and that is just by and that's not even him using the spirit of the spirit of, of designment yeah. just by looking at his face he said, mm, no and then one thing maybe the last point is the the girl telling mm. him how to dress her dress, dress her give him a don't wear this damn kind of jeans. Wear this thing. That's how you should be helping your um your partner, partner when, they when they want to come yeah. and meet your parents. Give them heads up. This is what you should do. When you see my mom, you need them because if you if you know your mom is someone that is big on a you have to just tell her try and need that when you come and visit or just do this that or buy this kind of gifts that I know that my mom's like. And then she would automatically open up to you. That is one thing I really like that she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's something you really need to about because you need to position yeah. your partner well before your um, your your family, and at the same time you understand them. So give them a scope, as people will say. You know. <laughs> but, uh, another, another thing for me, I would say is that pray. You know, you need to pray and seek the face of God. That was one of the things that uh, the father of you was telling yeah. her. You need to seek the face. He said, Have you prayed? Have you saw the face of God? If this guy has made his proposal, seek the face of God, pray. You know, most times as Christians, we go to church and just listen to message, but we don't try to allow this life of God or this spirit life find expression in our daily affairs of life. You know, God is our father. We need to talk to him. If somebody has come or you are thinking of a lady or a guy, you know, God sees everything in secret and even in opens, he knows yeah. all. So I think it's it's good when you commit things into the hands of God, you pray, seek the face of God and hear what God has to say to it. Yeah. Lastly, for me, uh, if my in case if my wife has any other thing to add, I would say life is a very small world. Hey. You know, <laughs> life yes, is a very, small very life. small world. I'm telling you, you never knew that somebody like that, that you did something to, you yeah, want to come him. to meet him and ask for the hand of his daughter in marriage. I say, you know, he, he was, went, he I'm was sorry, shocked. Sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to my house. I mean, I mean, he really spoke harshly to him. He didn't <laughs> behave you, well. Why would you talk that much to a stranger? Mm. You've not met him and you just abuse him like that. <laughs> so you need to watch your words. You need to watch how you treat people. Yeah. Because you never can tell when you might meet this person later. You know, you can't just say, it might not even just be about you going to marry the person's child or the person's daughter. It might be job. The person might, might be HR or something of a company are trying to apply yeah. for. You might even go to somewhere for something and suddenly you run into the person and you need the person's help. This word is a small word. Somebody used to say the word, the word is a microcosm in a macrocosm. Ah, it means, okay. <laughs> it means that, yeah, my macro means something small. Microcosm, something that is also a bit uh, small, okay. but at least. So he's trying to say it's a very small word, also in something in a very small, small word he gave, so. but a bit bigger. So the word is big on its own, but yet it's small. Wow. You know, so that's what he's saying that this word is small. So in however you're living, just be watchful, just think of the future, knowing that 
you might meet this person someday, oh, yeah, somehow, yeah. somehow. So you need to be um, careful how you talk to people, how you relate with people. Um, and I think the other thing would be for, for someone like you, you are trying to date a man, you really don't even know so much about him. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I can say... The information that he gives you. Yeah, that's true, that right? I'm not I'm married. She was saying that mm. you don't have a child. You don't have a child. Said, mm. oh, well, I do. So, he might have been right to her. And then, you know, he just believes in her. was taking her all the same. But, but at the her. same time, I would say is that when you're in relationship with somebody, engage in conversation. Yeah. Question them. Do your research. Do your research, Go please. Yeah, for, because these days we can't even trust even people. Search for you know? LinkedIn. So Anywhere. please, do your research. Try to. <laughs> All right, try to understand who the person is. Ask him, yeah. ask him, ask him questions. Try to meet his friends. His friends, yeah. So the the kind of people you you, you rose with would kind of give you an idea of the kind. Of, the funny thing is that even from the movie, we already know that the guy is not really a Christian like that, like that, mm. based on the dressing and all of that. So maybe if he had, she had met his friend and you know the kind of people he rose with, you just like I don't think you are a child of God, but okay, you know, and just be careful. So. All right, thank you. I hope you 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 uh, enjoyed our review. Um, I would say overall, the movie is a good one. Yeah. Storyline was good, and um, um, all it's just a very um, um, short episode, but there were a so lot of lessons to learn, you know, it and so it was great. So I would advise you to uh, please go to. Um, um, Pastor Victor Luko use um, YouTube channel, channel yeah. to watch the video, the, the episode. We look forward to second episode and see what is going to happen next Get in the second episode. Alright guys, Bye. have an amazing day. <laughs>